In this video, we will look at how to create a basic linear lesson using Moodle 2.0. Lessons are a collection of HTML pages and question pages that create a flowchart. It can be a straightforward flowchart from one HTML page to the next and so forth, or it can branch out from each page to different pages depending on the answer to a question, sort of like a pick a path story. Firstly, in your course, make sure you have turned editing on, either by clicking the button in the top right or by clicking Turn Editing On in the Settings block under Course Administration. Under the Add an Activity drop down menu, in one of the topic boxes down the middle, choose Lesson. Give your lesson a descriptive name. You can set a time limit for your lesson and set a time frame that your lesson is available from and to. For the purposes of a basic linear lesson, we will change the maximum number of answers to two. This will give us enough scope for a next and back button within the lesson. Your lesson can be scored because it can contain questions like a quiz, and there can be a correct branch for students to progress through. The grade can be set here. I'm going to set this lesson to be a practice lesson because I'm not going to be scoring it. This means that it does not appear in the grade book. Therefore, I'm going to ignore the custom scoring option and as it's set to be a practice lesson, I'm going to allow retakes. Again, I'm going to ignore the option for scores. In the flow control section, I'm going to enable a progress bar and display a left menu. Dependencies are now built into Moodle 2.0 lessons. I could, if I wanted to, make taking this lesson dependent on having spent a certain amount of time completed or achieving a certain score in another lesson within the course. I could also restrict access to this lesson to a certain time period, or I could restrict access to it to students who have achieved a certain grade in another activity in the course. But for now, I am just going to click Save and Return to Course. Click on your lesson to view it. At the moment, it is empty. I'm going to add a series of content pages. These are the HTML pages with information. This will create the basic lesson which will run in a similar way to a slideshow with one slide following another. Click Add a Content Page. Give the page a title. Put your page contents in. This can include text, images, links to sites, documents and so forth. Keep in mind the point of using a lesson is to keep each page short and concise. I will leave both of these options checked. Then, for content 1, I will write next and point the jump to the next page. This will give my students a button to get to the next page. I will leave Content 2 blank, as this is my first page in the lesson. Click the Add button at the bottom of the page to create this content page. The page I have created shows up in this table with its title, type of page, any jumps it has, and the usual row of icons to move, edit, preview, and delete. From the drop-down menu, I'm going to add a new page, add a content page. Again, I will write the title and put in the page contents. This time, in the two content descriptions, I will add back and next 
making sure I set the jump to the correct location for both. Then the button to add the page. Repeat this procedure until you have all the pages you need in your lesson. When you get to the final page, rather than writing next and choosing next page as my jump, I will write finish and choose end of lesson as my jump. This will take the students to a page that says congratulations, end of lesson reached, with a link to return to the main course page again. Let's preview our lesson and see what it looks like. To do this, I'm going to log in as a student so that we can see exactly how it would look. Notice how our buttons are down the bottom to navigate backwards and forwards. And the progress bar displays, showing us how far through the lesson we are. Also, on the left hand side we have a menu, so we can skip straight to the page we want. I specifically enabled this when I set up the lesson. When we reach the end of the lesson, I have a finish button, which leads us to the message to say we have reached the end of the lesson. I can click here to return to my course, or to view my grades. It is useful if the lesson is graded. Congratulations, you've learned how to create your first basic linear lesson using Moodle.